hello you guys welcome to a new video here I will show you how to change the background of a, an IP phone Cisco IP phone here I am using Cisco IP communicator as my IP phone this is my soft phone to do this uh, demonstration we need some certain uh, files and uh, some images actually so here you can see in my logos folder I have created a logos folder here in that one I have uh, two files one is tn voicenet.png voicenet uh, png as well and I have a lix.xml file as well if you check the size of the file the image file this is a thumbnail file this is actually the actual background this thumbnail file it is in the size of 80 into 53 and the uh, background image is uh, 320 into 200, uh, 212 for specific IP phone models you require to create uh, different dimensions here in this image it is showing that the phone model this is the size of the image file that will be working as the background this is the thumbnail image size and this is the location of the file in the TFTP directory of your call manager. Make sure that you are creating the files with a specific size and it should be having the extension png.png and it should be up uploaded into the this specific location in a TFTP di uh, directory which is running on your call manager. So here uh, in this uh, list you can see I am running Cisco IP communicator which is uh, uh, similar to 7970-7971. The size of this full image background image is uh, 320 into 212 and the thumbnail image size is uh, 18 to 53. And the location of the file in the TFTP directory you can see the desktops 320 into total into 12. You can use uh, any software to customize your image in your record sizes. Uh, here I am using a software called uh, IMRE. You can use this uh, software to uh, uh, reimage uh, or resize your image in a specific extension. You can see here BMP, JPG, GIF, TIFF, whatever the extension you want, you can resize it. And the width and the height you can just uh, specify here so to save some time I have done it already and you can see that specific size files here this is the thumbnail file and which is having the ex size 18 to 53 pixels and here the other one it is having the pixel size 320 uh, that is the width and this is the height 212 it is not only enough we have uh, one more file XML file that should be updated into the or upload it into your TFTP directory then only this IP phone or the soft phone it will be listing the available um, background images so you can just I am using a uh, notepad plus plus software you can see I am going to edit that file with uh, this uh, notepad, notepad plus plus software either you can edit or uh, create a new XML file or you can edit uh, an existing XML file so here you can see this is the image item tag okay here image item this is locating to the uh, thumbnail and this is uh, pointing to the actual background image if you check your um, folder you can see that this one and one more important thing is that these all three files should be uploaded into the TFTP server into a single directory and also it should be uploaded into all the TFTP servers which is running in your call manager environment and after uploading uh, these files into the call managers uh, directory it should be re uh, restarted the call manager TFTP service so once again I am showing you that the location of the uh, directory under the TFTP this is a desktop I am just uh, copying it because uh, when I upload this file I can just uh, save uh, the errors or I can avoid the error of typing when I while I am uh, uploading these files into the CUCM 
So first do access your Cisco OS administration web page. Click go. Provide the username and password. As I am running this call manager on a VMware, it is uh, being a little slow. Go to the software updates, TFTP file management, upload file, the directory. You just save the location what you have already copied from the background. Uh, sorry, that uh, XML file. Do you? Uh, I hope you remember. And upload the file. Uh, we want to upload all the three files. First, I want to upload the thumbnail. The order doesn't matter. You can uh, upload in any order. Okay, upload the other two files to the same location. Make sure that you are uploading to the same location. And also that XML file should be uploaded. Okay, close this one. And if you want to see whether the file is updated, you can just uh, find. I am just finding with the desktop or a file name starting with a file name having contains voice net this is my file name so click on find so you can see already this uh, voice net uh, and uh, tn hyphen voice net png file it is already updated in the proper directory and uh, if you want to just check for the list file you can see maybe it is having uh, more than one uh, list file but we are looking at the this proper directory so thereafter you have to go and to restart the tftp service so for that purpose go to the cisco unified serviceability web page click go provide the username and password and uh, make sure that uh, these files are uploaded to all the available TFTP servers in your call manager environment and restart the all the TFTP servers, uh, server services, not the servers, uh, TFTP server services. So I go to uh, tools, uh, feature services, select the server. Here I am running only one TFTP server, which is on 10.1.100.150. Click go. Here under here you can see uh, CM services uh, select a Cisco TFTP. Restart the service. It takes a while. I recommend you just to restart your phone either through either manually or uh, through the administration window that's optional I just manually restart the phone by selecting settings star star pound star star you can see that the phone will be registered after that go to settings user preference background images now you can see this is the thumbnail what we have uploaded when you select this uh, thumbnail and select it or uh, the actual image it will be applied so thank you to you guys for watching this video and also if you have any suggestion or remarks i hope you will um, just uh, let me know that thank you